Thanks for joining us for the Women Build Art Collaboration, part of our virtual Keep Building initiative. We truly hope lots of you will send in a piece to combine with others, like a mosaic for beautiful art representing Women Build. A separate supply list was provided. This beginner tutorial for non-painters is just to give you some ideas, so let's jump in. All pieces should be 8 by 6 cardstock, cardboard, anything heavier than paper, even the back of a cereal box. Now we're going to add an inspirational message. Write anything you want, it's going to be covered up anyway. And then add some scribbling. Notice how I'm holding the pencil at the end of the pencil. It kind of makes it more free flowing. This is just to get you started. This is our palette pink, blue, lime green. These are um, habitat colors. And what I'm doing here in fast motion is blending in some white um, just to give you some different colors. Notice how I'm discarding the extra paint on an extra piece of paper off to the side. We're going to use that later. So here I'm just blending and blending, just creating some of my colors. First thing I want you to do is to lay down a main color all over the page and just put it on. It can be as messy as possible. If you notice, I'm even adding in some white. Um, this is to cover some of the scribbles because that pink paint was pretty transparent. So I'm just going to cover it, just random things. There's no wrong way to do this. Just adding some interest to the page so it's not just one blob of pink. So now I'm going to show you some of the marking tools I like to use. These are really random things, a spray bottle, paintbrush, um, the little gizmo uh, for whisking eggs. All these tools are things I like to use to make marks in the paint. Just whatever you find around the house that has like interesting edges or whatever. So when I put that piece of paper on, it had paint on the other side and it got on my piece of art, but that's okay, I'll just go with it. I'm adding in some water into the paint here to make this fluid enough to add extra speckles. The speckles were already there and so now we're just adding some more. Again, I'm wiping off the excess paint over on that side piece of paper. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush and do more splattering, but this time the speckles will be smaller as well. Variety is great. I'm showing you that empty spot and saying, okay, what can we do over here to do some more mark making? So I'm adding some white so we'll be able to see the pink through the white. You could write something, you could do a design, anything goes. And it's just fun. Just put on some music and just do whatever. You never know what you're going to come up with. You can cover up mistakes if there are mistakes. You can cover them up later anyway. So this is a bottle cap. Obviously I'm smooshing it around to get more coverage on it and then I'm just going to stamp away. Because you don't want that white blob just being a white blob. Okay, not sure what I'm going to do here. I added more water to make, oh, I decided those, um, oh, more, more sprinkles. <laughs> I thought it was something else, actually. So now I'm going to just do some little random circles, and I don't want them too circular. I want them actually to be more random. Our, as human beings, we tend to kind of clump things together evenly spaced. So you kind of have to fight that and make yourself do something that looks more random. So now I'm mixing a lighter pink. And then I'm going to fill in some of these circles just a little bit to make them more interesting than just bottle cap circles on the page. Speeding this up here so it doesn't just go on and on. This is one of my favorite things. It's a gel pen. And with this, you can get some fine details. You can write messaging. You can make little squiggles. You can do whatever you like. And none of this is planned out. Just have fun, see what you get, 
it doesn't matter. Um, these are China markers. They're a little bit waxy and I decided I needed to add a message here. So there's my believe message again, much smaller. I kind of, I like to make these really tiny, like little treasures that someone will find if they look at the art up close. So now I'm just trimming it to its eight by six inch um, dimension. And I'm gonna write my name, which we want you guys to do, and my handle. And there it is, the finished piece. And when this goes together with others in a mosaic, it's gonna look fabulous. So what about that scrap paper we used to wipe our brush? So here it is. There's a few extra elements on it because I used it for yet another piece of art. And now I'm just tracing, this is with a chalkboard pen, tracing, filling in, filling in some of those circles. And now I used to, using a stencil here, looks kind of cool. Another circle. And as you can see, it's kind of shaping up. I'm kind of digging it. This is that egg beater. I dipped it in blue. A few more circles. And as you can see, this is just random fun stuff. When you don't like something, you can cover it up. That was a fork. And we're kind of done. I didn't like the edges being white, so I just took some paint and kind of made it watery, filled it in. A few more little stencil marks. I think that's pretty much it. And here are three pieces. I made each of them just in less than 10 minutes. That one's a little overly splattered, I think. And we'd love to see your art. We can't wait to receive it. Please turn it in by August 24th. Thank you.